The Ten Commandments. Why every time that you say the Ten Commandments do you have to have the voice of God? Charlton Heston. And I just found out that Parshat Yitro, where we are this week in Torah, was your Bar Mitzvah Torah portion. Yes. And I don't know- 75 years ago. <laughs> Um, I don't know if you know this, but when our B'nai Mitzvah students come uh, to B'nai Mitzvah class the week before their Bar Bat Mitzvah, we have a press conference mm. where we ask them to tell us a little bit about their Torah portion. So Rabbi Khan. Oh, I get a press conference. <laughs> I would like to know what is the most important lesson that you learned from Parshat Yitro when you became a Bar well, Mitzvah? Well, this is a cool Torah portion, but the most interesting is, of course, the, the Ten Commandments are given to the Israelites at Mount Sinai. It's a big moment. And my favorite commandment is actually the first commandment, which is not a commandment. I am Adonai, your God, who led you out of Egypt. It doesn't say you shall believe in me or you shall not believe in me. And, and based on what we talked about last week with free will and choice a couple weeks ago, couple weeks ago. Um, there's this whole concept of am I commanded, can I be forced to believe in God? And the answer is no. God exists whether you believe in God or not. It's a sort of statement. I am Adonai, your God, and now here are the nine other commandments. Maybe you'll tell us more about your bar mitzvah this uh, Saturday morning oh, at Torah study. That would be bad. It w might be great. It was fun. See you at 9 a.m. in the Bendelin Conference Room. Shabbat morning. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom.